Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I want to talk about inner talk or affirmations because it literally is creating your reality right now. Your inner talk, your affirmations are creating your reality. Now I'm, what I'm talking about today is the fact that why they don't work, how to make them work and let's go because I've changed my life many times for affirmation. Please before we get into this do like, share and subscribe, comment down below if you found the video helpful. What are you going to use from what I teach you? That's what I want you to comment down below. So let's go into this. Firstly, I want to tell a story of how I have used affirmations in the past and how I use them now. So for those of you who have been following this um, channel, you know, for a while, uh, and please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, by the way, link in the description. For those of you who've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I was an actor in the past. I was in a, a show called Jersey Boys in the West End. It was a very successful run, except for me emotionally, you know, two years in that show and a year and a half on the UK tour. So I did it in London and the UK tour. When, in my second year in London, I started to hit burnout, you know? And all the health issues that I've spoken about on this uh, channel came up. Chronic throat pain, hair loss, stomach issues, da da da. I fixed them all, you know? But here's what we're going to do. So how I fix the voice issues in particular was is why we're talking about affirmation today. So when I was in that show, the reason why all this stuff happened is because my inner talk started to go to the place of, oh my gosh, uh, we're... we're Am I good enough? I'm not sounding good enough. He doesn't respect me. He doesn't love me. All of this was made up in my mind, you know? Uh, uh, and I just a fear, constant reiteration of fear and self uh, deprivation in a talk, you know? And it manifested in these physical issues, you know? So what happened was I, I took a bit of time out and I met my now wife and uh, I realized that something had to change, you know? I was then offered to go on the tour for a year and a half. I was like, I can't go on the tour and have the same burnout that happened in town because I'm not even going to be in my own home. You know, I'm going to be in other people's homes and hotels and stuff like this. So I was like, now I need to change. So I decided now to take the next step, you know, and I started to use affirmation. I just read You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. Okay, so we're going to go into this. So basically what happened was instead of what I was affirming unconsciously saying, they don't respect me, they think I'm not good enough, da da da, which was all untrue, uh, but in my mind it was true. I started to affirm the opposite. I started to affirm, everyone loves and respects me, this show is so easy for me, uh, this certain person loves and respects me, you know, and this and this, and uh, singing is so easy for me, I love singing, this show is joyful. Well, I did 15 months without missing a day. I only missed one week because of an ear infection, never because of any vocal issue at all. And that was it. So, and it was just like affirmations work. Now, what it was, was it was affirming with a knowing that it was going to have an effect on me. You know, I was retraining my body because I realized that the self-talk before on the opposite way had had a really strong effect on creating the thing I didn't want. So now I was going to start to speak about the thing that I did want to happen. And here's the thing, I think why it worked quickly on that one is deep down I believed it, yeah? So when I started to use affirmation for other aspects of my life, I started to notice it didn't work. And it wasn't working as well. And I'm like, why? Because I've been affirming this and that. And here's the reason why. When I was affirming things about my voice and all that, I had some, I had a deeper belief that that was gonna be the case and it was gonna work. Because in some way I believed in it. You know, I believed that to be true already, you know? So I was just really allowing my mind to accept the truth that I already knew. Whereas when it came to affirming things about, uh, you know, better finances and better life, you know, and all this, it, it, after leaving the show, um, it wasn't starting to happen, you know? Because I think deep down I was fighting against the affirmation. So I want to tell you what I did. I've I've come to the, I've come to a conclusion that and over my coaching that you cannot supplant a negative emotion with a positive emotion on top of it. 
You can't actually force down negativity with positivity. It's not gonna work because your subconscious mind is already so emotionally embracing the negative that when you try and chuck a positive affirmation on top of it, it just goes, whoa. And that's what Dr. Joe Dispenza is saying about it not passing the brainstem, right? But the truth is, is that inner talk and affirmation cannot be left out of your spiritual practice. They're very powerful. That's why all my meditations end with some form of affirmation or prayer therapy, which is affirmation, basically. And so what I'm going to say to you is this, right? What you have to do is you have to know, you have to deal with the energy first, right? So when I was changing my financial situation, I realized that I've got to stop trying to change my financial situation and I've got to change my energy, my emotion around the situation. So any time that I had an emotion come up, right? An emotion come up, I started to re notice the emotion, breathe with it and relax. And after a while that emotion would release. From that place then of peace and ease, my subconscious mind was really accessible to supplant the next thing that I wanted. So I would actually just claim divine peace and harmony at first. But after a while, when I started to feel more peaceful and harmonious, I started to claim divine peace and harmony, but also that I was fully booked desirable coach uh, with infinite prosperity. Now, this is now here, sitting in this office, the reflection of that work I did uh, two years ago, you know? So I'm just letting you know that it will manifest in your life. I am now living the reflection of that affirmation. This is why the affirmation is so important. And this is why you must realize that you, affirmation doesn't work when you try and <coughs> um, correct the negative of the affirmation. You must let, you must deal with the emotion and find peace, then affirm. That's why going before, before you go to bed and when you wake up, uh, initially it's quite a good space to do some affirmations if you don't want to do the technique that I'm outlining but throughout the day you have to ask yourself some of you may comment below and go I've been affirming for prosperity for 20 years but you've got to say how many times have you affirmed the opposite unknowingly see affirmations only also work if you if they are the greater of two thoughts so if you are thinking more prosperous thoughts than lack thoughts you're going to get prosperity. If you're thinking more loving thoughts than, than uh, disconnected thoughts, you're going to get love and vice versa. So this is my story on affirmation. This is how you do it. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. If you're looking for some extra help with your coaching methods, I've got my Healing Factor course or you can work with me one-to-one. -one. I'm here to help you. Take care. Please do like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Was this video helpful? Bye.